Yeah, it's amazing to be here again. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I didn't, never would have imagined that I'll be back in the Tour de France, actually. Uh, a couple of months ago, I was without a contract, so I never expected that I can be here in July in the Tour de France. So. End of last year, um, Quebec, my team folded, and I was trying to look for a new team, but unsuccessfully and um, we were pretty deep into the year and I still didn't have a team so um, at a point I was considering that um, it's going to be time to stop and I packed up everything and sold most of my belongings here and um, moved back to South Africa but um, two hours after I landed I got a email from John Lelange um, telling me he wants to speak to me and already that afternoon I had off on the table so <laughs> I went directly back, came back to the same apartment and I've got a big responsibility um, as last man for Caleb in the sprints here so um, I'm really looking forward to, to doing that job so um, yeah hopefully I can help Caleb to a victory or two. I think I was quite motivated to train well. Um, uh, the South African Championships was quite a big goal for me and also the African Championships. So I had two goals to work to to keep me focused um, while I was searching for a team. But also I think mentally um, I grew quite a lot as a, uh, as a person and I think that's uh, translated into our race um, on the bike. Uh, I think I race a little bit with more freedom and a little bit less uh, um, care. So um, there's not that much of a pressure because I kind of realized like cycling is just a phase of life. One day it's going to be over. Um, I was actually at a point where I was accepting it was over. So um, yeah, you have to enjoy it while it's there. <laughs> 